good day to all my intelligent online viewers today is a great day subscribe to this channel today strike the bell also so that all the notifications will be seen by you when they come on board let's have a short break now and when we come back we will continue the video have for today example 4 now take note of this example 4 what we have is an implication that example 1 has been given example 2 has been given 3 has been given and now this is example 4 and what does it say what is the molar concentration of a solution containing 1.2 gram of caustic soda into 50 centimeter cube now note caustic soda is sodium hydroxide and the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 how do we get that the mass number of sodium is 23 you add it to 16 which is the mass number of oxygen plus 1 which is the mass number of hydrogen so the summation of the total relative atomic masses of these three elements that make up this compound is 40. Now let's move on. Molar concentration is the same as mole per dm cube. Now, molar concentration is the same as concentration in mole per dm cube. Take note of that therefore you can say this is the first method it's more than one method to treat this question now 40 gram that is one mole of sodium hydroxide in 1000 cm cube of solution is one molar do you understand that just one mole of sodium hydroxide when you weigh this one in 40 gram of 1000 cm cube is called one molar now 40 gram of sodium hydroxide in 250 will give 1 times 1000 divided by 250 now we go on this implies that 1.2 gram of sodium hydroxide in 250 of solution will give us this one this divided by this is going to give us the m cube times mass divided by the molar mass so everything will give us one zero point one two mole per dm cube please write it down it's a mathematical function that you need to put your mind into getting now if that method is not too good for you to comprehend here is another method if 1.2 gram of sodium hydroxide is found in 250 centimeter cube of solution now you can say s gram will be found in 1000 all you just need to do say s go to um, 1.2 is equal to 250 now 1000 go to 250 when you cross multiply here it will now give us this that is 250 times s is equal to 1.2 times 1000 so when you make s the subject of the formula what you are going to have is 1.2 times 1000 everything divided by 250 and after doing that you get to see that the answer is 4.8 dmq and when you have 4.8 dmq there the next slide after getting this you can now use the formula and what is the formula molar concentration is equal to concentration in gram per dm cube over molar mass in gram per mole and at the time you have done this just do your substitution let's see the substitution molar concentration that 4.8 d gram per dm cube you got divided by the molar mass you will get 0 0.12 mole per dm cube isn't that interesting compare this answer to the first one you got you see that they are 
the same. So please write the question down in your notes and practice it again and again. Now you see that your knowledge keep increasing. Thank you. Now shall go on to the third method. Now you can see the third method. See on that question that we have been treating. Mole is equal to mass in gram over molar mass in gram per mole. And the mass in gram that was given is 1.2. The molar mass is 40. When you divide, you get 0 0.03 mole. We move on. Now, the volume that was given in that question. Volume in DFQ, excuse me, the volume in DFQ is volume in centimeter cube divided by 1000 and 250 was given in the question when you divide it by 1000 you get the volume 0 0.25 DFQ now molar concentration that is amount in mole over volume in DFQ the amount in mole is 0 0.03 the volume in DFQ is 0 0.25. So just take the ratio, divide it, you get 0 0.12 mole per DMQ. Now, these three methods have given us the same answer. They are proving correct. Just try to learn them. Let's move on. Now, look at this example 5. In this example 5, we shall be looking at it critically. A solution containing 73.5 gram of solute per dm cube of solution is 0 0.210 gram calculate the percentage calculate the percentage composition concentration rather by mass and i believe that you have watched the other videos if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please subscribe and as you subscribe you also press the bell so as to get notified when other videos come thank you